Hey, this is Herc Magnus and welcome to your dashboard, your actual WordPress plugin for Project Supremacy V3. So if you're seeing this page, you have the plugin installed and there's only one thing you need to check and that's if it is activated. So depending on how you installed the plugin is whether it's gonna be activated or not. If you did install it from inside the app of V3 using the CSV installer or the adding by a single website, then it'll already be activated for you as well as if you use the automatic downloader um, and installed it that way, it should already be activated for you as well. And you'll be able to tell because you'll see your email and your license key already pre-filled in and you'll also be able to see it inside of your app in V3. You'll see the site in there because until it's activated, it won't communicate on the back end. If it's not activated, just log into your app and in the top left corner, you can grab your email address and license key and then insert them there and activate your plugin. So the options you have on the dashboard are going to be the easy WP setup. Now, what this is going to work best for is if you're starting out with a fresh new WordPress install and you have to do all the housekeeping items. So like removing all the pages, posts, uh, setting your permalink structure for proper SEO. Um, if you want to do any comment settings, like remove your comments, disabling new comments and comment notifications, you can have that set up. You can also create a bunch of different types of pages automatically uh, for different scenarios about us, privacy policy, terms of use, so on and so forth. You can see all the ones we have here available for you to use. And you can also create multiple categories, pages and posts uh, as empty pages and posts, um, but they will just set up the empty pages and posts for you so that all you have to do is go in and start creating your content later on. The other thing that we have uh, inside is a plugin. Um, you can add plugins um, or, or remove default plugins um, to your sites as well as themes. You can do that from inside the plugin here when you're setting up your blog or alternatively, you can also do that from inside the app. So you just have the option of doing it from either place. The next feature is gonna be your troubleshooting. If you're having any sort of errors, the first place you should come is here with your troubleshooting. And you can just hover to read the description of what of wit, what each one of these will do for you. Um, you can just run them. You just turn them on each one, um, and then go ahead and click start troubleshooting. They'll just run a process. If the error goes away, then you know that these fixed it. If it doesn't, then you can go ahead and open up a support ticket right here. Uh, in open up a ticket, that's a new feature that we've added into V3 as well. This goes right into our fresh desk. Um, so no need for you to go to supremacy.freshdesk anymore. It's actually built right in through here. Uh, another tab is for all you version two users. Now we know that there's a lot of you and there's a lot of people gonna be upgrading to V3 and we wanted to make it as easy as possible to do that. So if you have V2 installed, then all you're gonna have to do is install V3 on the dashboard, come over to migration, and then you can migrate all your previous reviews, your projects, your short codes, your schemas, and all your SEO settings just by clicking on yes. Um, those are the things you would like to uh, migrate over. And then when you click start migration, it'll run all those for you. Now, when it's done and you refresh this page, these will turn orange if it's already ran the process for you so that you'll know that you don't have to do that again. It's already been done for you, but you might have to refresh the page in order to see that change on each one. And then uh, we also have a system status, which is we have this inside of the app as well, but it's just going to give you a bunch of good information about your, um, your WordPress environment as well as your server environment, which are always helpful uh, to have handy whenever you're doing a support ticket. And then of course, up in the top, we're always gonna show you the change log of the plugin. You can just click that to see the change log. And then of course, there's the tutorials button, which is obviously what you press to watch this one. So you know how to work that one. So we'll see you in the next video.